Hello, my name is Elder Gray, and I would like to tell you about this very special book. Ding dong, hello. My name is... Hello. Have you seen that one? I've never seen the whole thing, no. no. Did you see it? You saw it when it was here? No. Well, I don't know. I think we saw it when it was here. I can't remember if it was here in San Antonio, but mm. we saw it. Yeah. Fucking hilarious. That's all I've ever heard. So I want to. I'm, it's crazy to me that it hasn't come back. It's been gone a long time. I don't know why it's a popular show. I don't know why it hasn't been back to L.A. yet. Like, Wicked comes back every 18 months, yeah, it as it should. Hamilton's coming back. It's because that... Maybe it's everybody loves that. Some people don't like to be offended. Well, if, ever, if you don't know, don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the Book of Mormon. Yeah, if you're religious at all, you're going to be offended by it, and it's yeah, hilarious. which is which is which is we need more things that would offend them. Oh, and they deeply religious, and it's not like they say something. They're no, trying to offend. They're, you. Is, they're 100 percent trying it, to offend you. I've I've heard the songs, so yeah. I. <laughs> Just. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe if you happen and hit that like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. That's what it says on my underwear. And today we got a uh, video that won't offend anyone. Great. Um, somebody made us a game, and it's, I believe, called um, uh, Bollywood versus Hollywood Actors. Okay. And so I think they take... Uh, they'll explain it. What are you doing? I was just looking at something. <laughs> Making sure there was sound on something. Um, it, was this, it was this home video I made with your mom last night. Just wanted to make sure is that what the, the is that sound what the was right. clapping was that I heard? You got it. Um, gets louder every year. What? The older she gets, the clapping gets louder. What? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Okay, read this. Okay. Instructions. Very random game. You'll see two pictures, one of a Bollywood actor, one of a Hollywood actor. You will have to choose which one you like more as an actor and feel free to discuss why. That's great. The two actors who've been chosen to be compared are chosen based on the similarity of their filmography's age and overall reputation in their respective industries. I like this game. Like I said, it won't offend anybody. <laughs> I, I, I already could tell you we're going to have some fights. Yeah. We're going to have some arguments. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let the duel begin. Ranbir Kapoor Ooh. or Ryan Gosling. That's a great... That's a, that's a great pairing. Great pairing. Um, let me think here. I think... Ugh, that's hard. That is a very good comparison, but some, they're both good at different things as well. Exactly. They're also good at similar things. Um, they're very good dramatic actors. I love Ryan's comedic timing. He has great comedic timing in, in what he does. Yeah, uh, he does. And so I've seen that more. But drama, they're pretty similar in terms of what I, I maybe I've seen him do a few more characters yeah. than I have of Ryan. But if you're going to give me the, the proverbial, okay, you can only choose one person's filmography over the other person's filmography. I think it said as an actor, though. It did. It did. So, so not that I can't watch their films. It's just right. which one do you like more as an actor? And I know, that's tough, actually, because I like them both a lot. Me too. Um, neither one are my favorites. No. But I like them. I do like them both. Um, I love, and obviously, pff, La La Land for me yeah. is Jeff. Good night. I'd probably pick Ryan just based off of his, because there's films like La La Land and um, The Other Guys. I don't know if you ever saw The Other Guys. Yes. Not that's, The Other Guys. Not no, the other no. Guys. I know the, the nice one. Guys. Nice Guys with uh, him and, and Russell Crowe. So funny. Great. Obvious, very underrated film. Obviously Barbie. Should have should have gotten more attention. And um, yeah, Barbie. And he's also had a bunch of other, but then obviously Tamasha, Barfi. Um, yeah. Uh, there's, we've seen so many of Ren Beer's films. Yeah, this is hard. I probably, just off of his comedic stuff that I like watching a lot. And that's the difference between them, at least to me, because, you know, he, he might have great comedic timing in Hindi, but I just, I don't pick up on that as much. Um, so I'd probably pick Ryan in this, but that's a tough one. That is a tough one. And if it was a race to the end, it would be a photo finish. And by a nose, I it would be Ryan Gosling but for me. By a nose, I don't just know. by a teensy little tip of the nose. I don't know, because I haven't seen it, 
if Ryan can play characters, even though I didn't like the film, like Animal or um, Rockstar, right? Yep. But I don't know if Ranbir can do right. Barbie. Right. Or that's why this is a great comparison. Yeah. So they they're both good at different stuff. But... I just yeah the the three films that you mentioned for Ryan. Yeah. Are what give me just a little bit of that nose is that his his comedic capabilities yeah. are pretty high. He him and him and um, Ryan Reynolds, very different styles of uh, comedic timing and comedy, mm -hmm. yeah. but both are really good yep. at like um, having like um, trying to be being funny without like saying a joke kind of. Thing. Correct. No, they just have really really good comedic so, sensibility. Ryan Gosling for this one probably. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I'm interested to see what you say. This is not hard for me at all. Yeah. This is not hard for me at all. Yeah, I know what he's going to say. You Rukhan. know what I'm going to say. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, it's Shah Rukh Khan. And for me, it's Tom Cruise. And, like, and it's not even difficult. Yeah. I don't like watching Tom. Which I don't. Why? I don't think he's one. I don't think he's a, that good of an actor. And two, so I, I, his face just makes me want to punch it. Uh, and. Weird. Shah Rukh Khan, even though obviously he has his quirks and uh, and obviously in a lot of his roles, he's over dramatic. But that's what I love about his style. And he's not always that. We've seen some really, really, really good performances. But as just a whole, man, I could uh, I could easily watch Shah Rukh Khan movies. Yeah. No, even I though would, like I'm obviously I've seen for, only one. Not of, a surprise for anybody who's been around here that 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 he would choose SRK. I'd choose Tom. Yeah. That's a good comparison, though. Yeah, that's an excellent comparison. Uh, I, I like the pairing of the two. Great. Two, these first two out the gate yeah. were really good comparisons. Um, I But I would pick Shah Rukh Khan. There. Here we go. <laughs> you this you know what you're doing. You know what you're who made you know who made the game? No. Okay. You 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 know what you're doing. Thank you. Uh God, thank this, you. This is hard. <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> uh, and this isn't really fair to a certain extent. We well, We I, haven't seen enough of of Salman Khan's films. Honestly, I haven't seen enough of <laughs> The Rock. And that's the other thing. Yeah, you haven't seen enough of what The Rock's done. I've probably seen including it. you haven't seen Ballers. Let's see. Okay, so I've seen um what have I seen? The Tooth Fair. Uh, Which he's very good in. I, is he in San Andreas? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen him in any Fast films. Um, let's see. What else have I seen? Which, by the way, you know, that franchise, Nolan adores the Fast and Furious franchise. Christopher of, Nolan. Uh, millions of people. Yeah, so does my wife. Yeah. Um, I'm way overdue to watch the franchise with, with her. She was... So when we went to Universal for the first time... Mm -hmm. And she got on the fast ride. I, yeah, she, yeah, I didn't tell her anything. She just went into it, and she was like, "Ah, oh, she was in heaven." Yeah. So I haven't. Oh no, Jumanji. I saw the Jumanji. Oh, you did see the one with him and em, and yeah. Emily Blunt. The first one. I haven't seen the second one. I'm sorry. I was thinking Jungle Cruise. Yeah. No, yeah. The one with Jungle Jack Cruise. Black. Yeah. Um, for me, but he's I've, not that movie though. I've seen way more of Dwayne's stuff. Uh, he also does a superb job with the voicing in in Moana. So I, I, for me, it's no contest for me. It's du it's Dwayne. Um, it's like a tie, because uh, <laughs> it's a good pairing again. It's though. a very good pairing. A very good pairing. But again, I, I, what have we, how many Salman Khan films in totality have we watched? I've seen more than you. Right. I've seen what three? Uh, you saw. Your best performance. Best performance is Budgie by John. Correct. And then you did like him I, in the first Tiger. Eek the Tiger. I did. You liked his. I liked his him. Character in Tiger. So I, I, I feel like this would be even harder for me if I saw a few more of Salman Khan's and then, films. Uh, obviously, the Bong, but that wouldn't be one that we should put in the list. Yeah, no, uh, no. Um, but I no because Dwayne's got some groaners too. Yeah. <laughs> so his entire acting career is a groaner. But no, <laughs> no. <laughs> It's not. That's why it's you, good. For you, me, it's a good comparison. Because so you, you, sit, you sat through Moana groaning over his that's, voicing? That's animation. That is not the same. Oh, that's not acting. Voice work that's, isn't acting, said the guy who just booked voice work. I said it's not the same. <laughs> why? It's acting. Because if you're going by that, then Alan Tudyk is probably the greatest actor of all. And he is a great actor, by the way. Alan Tudyk is a fantastic actor. But Voice actors are actors. I, I'm, no one said they weren't. I oh. said it's different. And so if we're comparing screen acting is what I'm comparing. Okay. So screen acting. Screen acting. You haven't seen Ballers? Yeah, I'm not going to watch Ballers. I, um, there's a reason it had multiple seasons. 
<laughs> and he was the lead. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a tie for me. <laughs> okay. Because I can't. I choose, I choose it's, Dwayne. It's a good pairing, though. Three for three on the pairings. I like Yeah, them. great choices. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. I love Big B, but I. You should have picked a different actor because. Yeah. Like Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Bob De Niro is a great character actor. And a great comedic actor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I just, the body of work and the, the style and everything about Bob De Niro for me. Well, I, I've seen I'm a Top Dude comedy as well. And I love B, I love Big B. But, but if you're having to, to choose the, yeah. the, which of the two actors I prefer and watch more of and have a, a, an yeah. affection toward, it's it's Bob De Niro. Yeah, be, but I would have picked somebody, like Morgan Freeman would have been a better one. Because then I would I would have probably picked Amitab uh, in, yeah. that, in that. Aspect. I I yeah, but maybe that wouldn't because I think Amitabh is more versatile than uh, Morgan Freeman. I agree. I, I love Morgan Freeman. I love Morgan He's Freeman. A great actor, but the versatility goes to Big um, B. So I think the the pairing made it be could have been better. Uh, but I understand the reason I for the pairing. Good, I think a good pairing might have been Pankaj, even though Bob De Niro has a longer uh, career than Pankaj. But I'm trying to figure out somebody that has one is an insanely talented. Dramatic actor, right? Mm -hmm. And more character. Nawaz, maybe? But, like, even then, he's still not old enough, I think. I think you need to have somebody of that Yeah, age. you need to have somebody who's had... Which, there's not a lot. <laughs> That's there's, probably why you picked him, because of the age. Yeah, the age, the length of career. And because, back in the day, there were... In India, there were three main names that were on people's lips at a particular time in the 70s. And it was Al Pacino, Bob De Niro, and Amitabh Bakchan. They were all not as they should be at the time. Th those guys were all synonymous in people's minds in India. Yeah, so I get it. I really do get it. I, it's it's I don't. It's not a weird choice by any stretch. But no. I just for me. Yeah, it'd be Bob I De Niro. love Big 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 B, but I it's Robert De Niro for me. Yeah. Um. All right. Ooh. Great choice. Great one, choice. One, both sexy people. Oh, this sucks. Let me see here. Go through my brain of all the performances of theirs I've seen. Oh, that sucks. This is a great one. Okay. Oh. So, Hangover, um, the the Eagles one. Um, I didn't. You see, didn't see Maestro, did I you? I didn't see Maestro. Oh, he does year. such a good job in Maestro, and he does a great job with but, direction in Maestro. But we've seen a bunch of uh, and Star is Born, really good characters from Rithic. Rithic. I love Rithic. Honestly, I might pick Rithic, even though I love Bradley Cooper. I think he's absolutely fantastic. This is a great pairing, by the way. Because uh, I think they both could actually play each other's roles. Like if you were, yeah, you could interchange them. If you were like making the Bollywood remake, yep, or the Hollywood yeah. remake of a Bollywood film, you could interchange them. Um, it's a great comparison. I probably seen more Rithic films, so maybe that's swaying me. Because um, I'm trying to think of all the the Bradley Cooper films I've seen. Maybe five, six, maybe. Um, and I'm not including Guardians in that um, as uh, the Rocket. Um, even though he's obviously fantastic in that. Um, I like, That's a tough one. I like his comedic timing a lot. Obviously, Bradley Cooper has great comedic timing. But it does, for me, like the last one where I said it's a photo finish just by a nose. Mm. Rithic. Yeah, I'd probably pick Rithic, too. Um, but great comparison. Yeah. because <laughs> Great choice. Literally, you could call him the Rithic of <laughs> Hollywood, and he would be the Bradley Cooper of... Except... Dancing. Except on one... <laughs> except on the dancing... Yeah. And there, there is a level of of sex stardom, sex you know, being a, a sex symbol aspect. Bradley's got that. Yeah. But there is a yeah, level yeah. of that for Rithic. Hard to, that's, hard to beat the Greek god. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I yeah. give it to Rithic in this one. Yep. By a thumb. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Here we go. Ooh. That's off to uh, whoever made this. Um, because we have often remarked how Amir Khan is the Tom Hanks of Indian cinema. Which Very why, which similar it? films. Uh, there's a reason why Lal Singh Chada was made is because they're just, again, when we talk about if you would make an American version of a Hindi film, and if you would make a Hindi film that is a version of an American film, those guys go hand in hand. This is tough. This is tough. How old are they? Are they similar ages? I think Tom Hanks is Hanks is older by it. I think C ten 60s? years. Yeah, I think he's a decade older. A Amir's my How age. Old is Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is sixty-seven. 
Ooh. years old. Yep. He might be way older. No, because Amir... How old is Amir Khan? 54. Amir Khan is 37 years okay, old. No, he's that not. A, that was a different... <laughs> Why would you come up with this random ass Amir? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Who the fuck did that just come up with? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> 50, 50 something, right? 59. 59. Oh, not that much older. Almost 10 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Almost 10 years. I didn't know he was that old. Uh, turned 60 this next year. Guys, this is so not, this is hard here. Uh, part, part of the, the difference here, I started, I first fell in love with Tom Hanks. When he was doing Bosom Buddies. But that's first... that's how long I've cared about and watched Tom. But you've loved Amir since the first day, first film. Yeah, it's true. But channel. the difference between five years and 50? Nah, there's no difference in that. <laughs> I mean, Splash. Sleepless in Seattle. Okay, I'm trying to think, though. Because I, I love... You've got mail. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to think of this. Saving right? Private Ryan. Captain Phillips. I love Tom Hanks. Philadelphia. Forrest Gump. I, I good grief. I don't think he's um, like a uh, shape shifting actor. I think he's a great actor. Wait, what? Really? You don't think he can be a shape shifter? I've always seen Tom in every like, even though there's voice differences that he's that he's good at and all that kind of stuff. I always see Tom. I've never not seen Tom in a, in, in a role he's done. Um, have you name name the name Forrest the? freaking Gump? There's no Tom Hanks in Forrest. Yeah, there is. No. That's his best performance for sure. I agree. With Philadelphia you. is damn good. He won back to back Oscars for Philadelphia and yeah, Forrest Gump. Yeah, I haven't seen Philadelphia. Oh my goodness. And uh, that, that's him and uh, Oh him, him and Denzel. Denzel, yeah. Yeah, and he he plays a guy dying yeah, of yeah, AIDS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's been on my list for a long time. Oh. Uh, and then he did a he I thought he did an, an exceptional job playing Walt Disney in that that the no, movie he did. about That's not what I'm saying. He he's a great actor. But he, he, I don't consider him like a character actor though. Like in terms of like somebody who I, I, if he's in a role, I'm like, where did he go? Forrest Gump would be the closest for sure. Yeah, but see, I for me, but also I'm trying to think of if I'm I don't get, I don't, I don't necessarily consider shape shifting to be meritorious above actors who can be themselves. It's different. It's just a different skill set. I don't, I don't consider it to be a better actor because if you can't be yourself, what does that say? Uh, well, some of us hate you. Uh, That's true. <laughs> Certain publications. So I, <laughs> yeah, I'd probably pick. This Tom. is heartbreaking for me. I'd probably. Pick I Tom. would have. To, I, I just would pick Tom. But I, I, boy, would that break my heart because I have. A, there's a very, very special place in my heart for Amir. That's Khan. very, uh, very sad though, um, because Amir, I love Amir. Yep. Oh, <laughs> interesting comparison. Not teeth wise. Both have uh, massive teeth. Let's see here. See, the issue here, we haven't seen Akshay's comedy. And that's what he was known for in the be beginning of his career. He was known. Yeah, for being I've seen a lot of Will Smith films. King of comedy. I've seen a lot of Will Smith films. Um, and so Say what you want about Will personally. Put that to the side. Will is a hell of an actor. Yeah, he is. Um, the reason this isn't fair, we've seen Akshay do great work. Yeah, you know that you, if you've seen any of our reviews of his, we think he's a heck of an actor. Um, the issue is this would be closer, I think, if we had seen his more comedy. Yeah, the stuff he's known and that's for. the thing. I wish I could. Uh, I've seen so much more of Will's stuff. Yeah, um, so it probably. I mean, I've seen a ton of Will Smith films. It pro it's another good comparison. Yeah, um, but I'd probably pick Will Smith. Yeah, I grew up with him. Yeah, um, but I think they're similar actors. I think they both. Could, I mean, outside of one being. An African American. Uh, completely I just, similar. yeah, I don't. The thing I don't know because I haven't seen enough of Akshay's filmography to know if he has the depth. Will Will has incredible depth and dexterity as an actor. He can he can play well, we, a lot. He can he can do pretty much everything under the sun. He can do dramatic stuff where he's himself. He can do dramatic stuff where he has to completely transform. He can do really stupid comedy. He can do action. That's why I think they're uh, good because yeah, I, it's I think a good. Oxe Oxe has we, been we, known for both. I just we haven't seen enough. Well, well yeah, we've we've seen the, so it's a, a good comparison. More dramatic of Akshay than yeah. we have of uh, his comedic side, which but is, I, I kind of can't not pick Will. Yeah, I'm probably gonna pick Will. Here we go. What is this? Tom Holland, Tiger Shroff. Oh, well, we've seen I, one. Mm. 
Have yeah. we seen one Tiger film? But the, the but here's the, the understanding comparison is because Tom is so well known as Spider Man and action figures and action action figure <laughs> action films. Yeah, I mean I don't um, like. I mean I, he's great as. And this is hard because I know that he's great in as his Spider-Man. heart. Tom's a thespian. I mean he's 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 doing Romeo and Juliet in on stage in London right now. I don't know if so, I've actually seen anything other than Spider Man from Tom. What did I have? Outside of his umbrella but, performance on the But I'll s- say this for Tom. That was tough to step in to another iteration of Spider Man and do it as well as he- he's my favorite Spider Man. Oh yeah, he's great. Uh, I th- I, when I, I saw him in Spider Man for the first time, I thought, ah, that's he's the best. He's perfect for Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I, it's I, Tom have, for me. I, I haven't seen either actually enough, but yeah. it'd probably be Tom. Yeah, because uh, I, I think the only one we've seen is War of Tiger. Yeah, uh, so and again for acting things, I do know Tom's in his heart. He is a thespian. If it's, he's always going back to the stage. If it's dance, it'd be Tiger. <laughs> Even though I know Tom can dance, he can. I know he can. Dance. We're about to find yeah, out. Yeah, right. Uh, but uh, if it's dance, it would be Tiger. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. And I if you're talking it, about I action, guess it, I guess it would be Tom. Tom. Tom can do really great stuff with action, but he can't no. touch Tiger. Oh no, no. So if you're talking just about an action star, it's Tiger. Yes. Uh, and above Tiger would be um, what's his face from Commando. Um, Commando, the you said martial artist. Well, you say commando, and it immediately takes no, me to Schwarzenegger. No, the one we did the watch long of, of running through the forest and kicking ass. And he's from, I think, the guy is it? No, buggy. No, that's Tiger. Um, anyway, anyways, but it'd be Tom. There you go. One. Oh, <laughs> not fair. Not fair. Uh, this was probably the uh, again the the worst comparison of the two, uh, even though we haven't seen enough of Rishi's, of course. But he's a heck of an actor. Uh, it'd be Jack. Jack's one of the, the greats of all he's, time. He's, he is one of my favorites ever. I have seen so many Jack Nicholson films multiple times. I watched the... Uh, and he can do comedy and drama. I watched The Departed for the first time a week ago. For the first time? Yeah, I'd never seen it. You loved it, didn't you? It was nice. I actually, oh, I, I, was, I was expecting more. Really? Maybe I, it's been built up well, in my it, head for a long and it's time. And it's, it's old enough now that it's a little dated. Yeah. It's a little dated. And it like it's been built up. It's like, oh, departed, departed. Yeah, no, it's like, a good film. It was good. Yeah, it's a good film. Uh, I yeah. think I was expecting, I th- you can't convince me that all those people, um, um, Mark Wahlberg, um, Leo, and uh, who's the other one? Um, Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin and, no, the other main guy. Oh, Wahlberg? Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Uh, no, the other guy. It's Mark Wahlberg, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jack Nicholson, yeah. Alec Baldwin. The other main guy. Uh... Other main guy. He's in uh, Good Will Hunting. Oh, Ben Affleck. No. Other one. Oh, you're right. He's in that. That's ab- you're absolutely right. He's like the lead. Yeah, you're Leo. absolutely right. What's his name? Um, Frickin' from The Martian and everything yeah, else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, why are we blanking on I don't fucking know. You can't, convince, so you can't convince me they're not all the same person. <laughs> <laughs> in that movie. <laughs> but did you, Say did you know, did you know the ending? Yes. Before going in? Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Because that's one of the best things about when I saw the film is I had no idea. Yeah. Had no clue. Unfortunately. I remember when it happened, I went, oh! Being this late in pop culture. Oh! It it was spoiled for me. I'm sure. Uh, If you haven't seen The Departed, see The Departed. It's Jack. Steph didn't know. It's Jack. uh, No, George Clooney. Oh, Oh, that's a good comparison. Here's the thing, guys, and I think this would go without saying. Part of the problem with this, and it's 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 really hard to differentiate the acting capabilities when we have seen so much more work of the American actors because we've grown up with these guys. Honestly, I would actually pick a no. I don't. I'm not like a big George Clooney fan. I think he's good, but it's not. I've never like loved George Clooney, um, and so I I like the interestingness of a nil. Um, good comparison. I think they could both play each other's roles. I'll tell you what. Of the things we've seen... But I'm not like a big George Clooney person. No, of the things we've seen, Anil has demonstrated a broader 
a broader sense of capability in yeah. my mind. But I haven't seen um, some of his best stuff, I think, as well, in terms of, I haven't, what was that one where he was, it was like the singer, I think it was, where he was. Uh, where he plays a singer? Yeah. He does I a don't know. Song, he does a song in it. Well, he does a song in. It's like a country song. Well, yeah, well, he does that in, in uh, what's, uh, doggone it. The Coen Brothers film. Yeah, yeah. That's the one I'm talking about. You've never seen that film? Oh, uh, yeah. Corbin Miles has never seen that film? Yeah, I've never seen that film. Oh. Steph loves that film. I've never seen it. I, you, yes, you would too. I'm shocked you haven't yeah, seen I've it. Yeah, I've never seen it. Um, I've seen a bunch of his films, but he I'm not like a big George Clooney person. He's very, very good. Nepo, baby! Uh, he's very, very good. <laughs> Up in the Air is one of my favorite yeah, George Clooney good, films. That's a good one. But he's always George Clooney. Yeah, he, and, he, and, but, but again. that's <laughs> Yeah, that's not my thing. That's not your thing. <laughs> Uh, I would pick a nil here. By so, a nose. It's, it's a nil. One. It's a close it's one. By, by a nose. It's a nil Kapoor. It's a close one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. And see, this would have been more interesting a few years ago because um, I never thought much of Brad Pitt before, like, he started later in his career in doing more character actors. He's gotten much, he's gotten much better. Uh, in earlier his career, I didn't think much of him at all. I, I didn't. Most was, didn't. I didn't think he was that good. Of an Babylon actor. is the game. I've talked about that before. When I saw Babylon, Br Brad let his age show, and he went from just being the, the pretty boy guy to, oh, this guy can act. And then after that, he just did a series of films, and I went, oh, wow, Brad can act. Um, um, we've seen quite a few uh, J. Dev Gunn. We have, and enjoyed him always. He's always we solid. We have seen also his, some of his most populars either. Yeah. So, like, there's one called, um, sorry, The Legend of... Bhagat Singh. Yeah. Where he plays the, yeah. the real freedom fighter. Yeah. That's supposed to be one of his uh, great performances. Um, and This is a good comparison. It is. It, it's tough because I think Ajay is such a really good, solid actor. Um, I'm trying to think of all the different kind of characters, which, you know, I like, that he plays. And later in Brad's career, I can think of more. Um, like it's a, a J by a nose for me. In in a J Devgan by a nose. In um, Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, I fucking love Inglorious Bastards. He's really good in that. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> He's also good in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yes, he is. Um, but it's it's a J for me by a nose. Benjamin Button. Obviously. Yeah, Benjamin. I didn't really like Benjamin Button. You that know much. I don't. No. Yeah, I didn't. It didn't. It 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 underwhelmed me. Yeah. Yes, it's tough. It's a J by a nose. In fact, you mentioning that movie seals the deal for me. Because <laughs> I, I didn't really like Benjamin Button. Uh, yeah, I'd probably pick a J. All I'd right. I'd probably pick a J. There we go. Oh, my fucking Lord. <laughs> that is the best one so far. Oh, my God. How dare you? <laughs> that is the best one so far. How dare you? This is going to give Corbin nightmares. Those are like two of my favorite actors ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. This one, I will say, without any hesitation or problem, it's a tie. I cannot pick one over the other. That shows you how good Nawazuddin Siddiqui is, because there's not a better actor on planet Earth than Gary Oldman. Different actors. There's not a better actor. Gary Oldman is, is, is a spectacularly good actor. But I think Nawaz has, has the exact level of greatness as a Gary Oldman. So it's a tie for me. I have no shame. None. <laughs> it's going to make me cry. I know. Um, <laughs> God, I love both these actors so much. Oh. Uh, I mean, I loved Gary Oldman before he was popular to love. Yep. You know, when he, when he won an Oscar. Yeah. Um, always thought he was such a great actor. Um, and he's and, one of the greatest character actors of all time. And we've seen more Gary Oldman films than we have Nawazuddin and Siddiqui, but that doesn't mean we, we, we know the depth of Nawaz. We know what he can do. We've seen a lot of diversity from him. They're very similar character actors. Very similar. I, it's a tie. It's tough. Because I was like, can Nawaz play a better evil person? But and we've met both of them. Yeah, we have. Hey! Both doses. <laughs> um... <laughs> Can Nawaz play a better evil person? But then I'm like, I've seen... Like, Oldman can do... The professional, the... Um, 
Um, he's he's played so many evil characters. Uh, yeah, I can't pick. It's a tie. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I have is, no. Uh, I have no problem saying that's a oh tie. Oh my god. That was great. That's the hardest one. Yeah, by far. That was uh, a great, great pick. Ooh. Another great one. Ooh. <laughs> That's another great one. Oh, my God. Because uh, they're, they're getting into the thespians now. Yeah. And, and people that we love. Um, I, I would pick... Bale only because I think if you ask Raj Kumar, so he would think, pick. Do you think Christian is a better actor than you? And you say, Oh yeah, don't even compare me. That, yeah, because I, I, I if you're if you're an actor, uh, he's done so many unhealthy transformations in his in his career. He's one of the last kinds of actors that does what De Niro used to do. Yeah, but I don't think he can play sincere like. Um, Raj Kumar has. Like in terms of like, you know, this innocence. A sweet sincerity you know in Raj Kumar. Raj Kumar Absolutely. just brings, like it's he just part of his aura. He has a sweet sincerity. He just, that's part of his aura. Right, but that's, a, again, I don't think that's a, a fault of, of Bales by any I'm stretch. Just to, it's just I'm a differentiation. I'm just trying to come up with differences. Because we have seen him play insanely different characters from himself. So here for, for me, for, for me, it's Bale for, for the fact that um, there, anytime he's, portraying something it's always a crapshoot of what the hell is christian gonna do this time what are we gonna see i have no idea what i'm gonna see and no one does a better american accent <laughs> no one i remember the first time i saw christian bale receive an award many many years ago and i went what the hell because i had no idea he was british yeah yeah uh he also likes to yell at light people uh <laughs> and <laughs> Yeah, famous audio. If you don't remember that from uh, like fifteen, that years was a hard day on set. <laughs> that was a hard day on set. Should he have been moving the light? No, but you definitely shouldn't yell at people like yeah. that, Christian. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I hate it, but I would pick bail. Yeah, but I hate it. Yeah, because this one's tough. I never like discounting Raj Kumar. Of course, as an of actor, because he's a brilliant actor. These are actor. all so good, um, and there's no discount here because. Raj Kumar is one of the best actors acting. Yeah, today. absolutely. Robin, oh, that's that's not fair. That is not fair. No, it's I love Pankaj, but there's I mean you're you're talking about my two favorite actors of all time. So if you are Daniel D. Lewis and Robin Williams, if you take out no Pankaj can do comedy well, but this is he might be the overall greatest actor of all times in terms of all roundedness. Robin, yes, yeah, in terms of like he's great, and there's no one with the comedic capability on the planet. No, that Robin could do. No, uh, it's no Jim Carrey would probably be the closest second you can have. Yeah, but there, but there's not. But, e but that's not even a close second. Yeah, um, Robin. Robin's of, probably going to be the greatest comedic actor of all time. In terms of comedy, I think it's a close second. But in terms of drama, I do not believe it's a close second because I no, don't, I don't think much as much of Jim as a dramatic actor as a no. He a he has done actor. some good things, but Robin, Robin's Oscar level. Robin's Juilliard trained. Robin's yeah. Robin's as good as it gets. Yeah, that's a... Nothing again. You know we love our Dost. Pankaj is a magnificent... One of the greatest of all brilliant, time. Brilliant, wonderful actor. Um, um, yeah, but I just... it's You would you could have put anybody up there, and it probably would have been Robin. Just because the most well-rounded actor probably I've ever seen. Like, even over Daniel Day-Lewis, just because I, I've never seen Daniel do comedy, ever. <laughs> ever yeah, no uh, maybe as a dramatic actor yeah you'd put daniel obviously over robin no when it comes but, to but when you include everything daniel always gets the tip of the cap for shape-shifting yeah. always he disappears um but robin is a more versatile actor yeah he was yeah. and i I, have I talked about the story when i got to meet him and yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah him and christopher reeve yeah, i yeah. was gobsmacked there was superman and mork i said nothing i just stood and listened to them talk Granted, i couldn't believe it if you put it Pankaj up against most others. Yeah. I would probably would have picked Pankaj. Right, right. Uh, because he's also a brilliantly talented, versatile actor. Very versatile. So funny. Which is why that's a, it's, I understand the logic behind the choice because yeah. of the versatility. I totally get but that. But Robin's such a unicorn. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that one hurts though. Yeah. Vicky. It's not, it's not close. For yeah, you. I know it's not even a close it's not one close. for you. No. 
Um, I like Andrew. This is very hard for me. No, it's no. I pick Vicky every day. This is very, very hard for me. And he was uh, um, he acted multiple times. I mean, he acted with my uh, one of my favorites of all time. Heath. I this one's very hard. For, I go Andrew. No, absolutely not. Um, mm -mm. Yeah, I love Andrew no, Garfield. That, this wasn't even difficult at all. Uh, and I think he's very good. I, I, tick, tick, boom. I, probably, oh. probably his best performance for me. Um, but um, I always see Andrew. Um, and, you know, <laughs> it's always going to be well, I don't thing. understand. I really don't understand why that makes an actor less good for you. No. It makes, if you're comparing the two. You, it, yeah, you consider them less good. Then if you the, compare then the a character? shapeshifter to somebody who's always themselves, you're always going to pick the shapeshifter. Yes. Because you think that is more difficult. It is. I, it is not. To, to, to be yourself and to be a different character? Yeah, yes. it's more difficult. No, it is not. It is not. It they're, is. They're two completely different skill sets. I agree. It's a different skill set, but one's more difficult. No, I disagree. It's easy to be yourself. No, it is not. It is. As an, For an actor, it should be easy for you. No. You'd be a shitty actor no. if you didn't. No, absolutely not. You know how many people, you, that's why people go to training. They have to learn how to share themselves yeah, and be shitty themselves. Shitty actors. We're talking about professionals. Oh, good grief. We're talking about professionals here, not just a random <sighs> mojo off the street. Anyways, this wasn't difficult for me. I love Andrew. I think he's yeah, but it's, really, I, really talented. I pick Andrew. But Vicky is a much better actor. Uh, oh. That's great. That is a very good comparison. That's great. Because... Because Robert Pattinson is one of the most underrated actors in Hollywood, in my opinion. Robert Pattinson is a damn good actor who has had to just fight and claw his way out of his way out of Twilight. Pattinson's excellent. Yes, he is. He's the kind of actor. These are these are both actors that when I watch them act, I'm like, oh, I want to work with you. Oh, yeah, that's tough. I'd probably damn. pick Shahid. Um, but it's very, very close. Because I think Robert Pattinson is very, very talented. Yeah, I, I, I like get, him a lot. I choose Shahid. However, I love Robert Pattinson. So it's yeah. it's it's by a nose, it's, though. It's, I give it to Shahid. Yeah, Shahid for this one. But that's yeah. that's a good one. Oh, nice! I, I was waiting. I didn't see one. I thought there'd be an Irfan comparison with somebody. Who would you have paired him up Like if you now? would put Irfan against Robin? That would have been tough for you? I Still would have instantly said Robin Williams. Yeah, it's, that's it's not a good one. No. I'm trying to think. Maybe but the, these were great. How about how about your fun and um um uh, BFG? Oh, Mark Rylance. Rylance, that would have been gr oh that hurts. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Yeah, that'd be a good one. That would be a great one. Irfan Khan versus Mark Rylance. That would break my heart. I'd still probably pick Irfan, but... It'd be oh, very, my very goodness. Very, very sad. That would... No. Oh, I hate that. I'm so glad that wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that one. Because <laughs> they, they both equally, even more than the Amir Khan and, and Tom Hanks comparison, mm -hmm. Irfan and Mark Rylance both touch me as an actor... Uh, as you? deeply, as deeply. Um, the hardest one was. Uh, no Here's what's interesting about the shape shifting being yourself kind of actor. Irfan's not a shape shifter, yet you consider him to be extraordinarily one of the greatest actors to ever walk the planet. What? What'd you say? That was convenient. What'd you say? No, what'd you say? I didn't hear you. Irfan's not a shape shifter. But you consider him to be one of the greatest that's ever, ever been on screen. Correct. Yeah. I, I, I've never said I don't think there's... Gr <laughs> I consider Michael Caine a great actor, but I don't think he's a shapeshifter. Well, uh, yeah, but that's the thing. It's that like, just means he won't ever be in my favorites. Because all my favorites... To me, it's kind of like saying... Uh, but also, I do think he's... Irfan is a little bit of a shapeshifter. It's like to me, it's kind of like saying Gene Kelly's the greatest dancer in the world because he was a tap dancer. Mm -hmm. So that means he's better than Prabhu because Prabhu can't tap. They're different disciplines. They're different expertise levels. They're different things. Not everybody's a tap dancer. Not everybody's a shapeshifter. But if one can do them all, not everybody can do them. That, all. But I'm I'm talking about the ones that can. No, that's you, why. I no, no. You 
you just on this video said shapeshifters are better actors than those who are themselves. I You've said that all your life. No, I think it's more talented. That's the same as better. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, I disagree. It's just different. Mm -hmm. I don't think a shapeshifter is a better actor than someone who... That's why, to me, the diversity of Robin, who is usually himself in everything, I, uh, his diversity is more expansive to me than Daniel, though Daniel's the greatest shapeshifter I've ever seen. Well, did I not just say, as an overall actor, Robin is probably the greatest actor of all time? I think I just said that. That I'm not talking about that spe specificity. I'm talking about the consistency with which you always point out that shapeshifters are better mm -hmm. actors than those who are themselves. And it, it does it requires more talent to be a shapeshifter, shapeshifter than it does to be yourself. I definitely think it requires more talent. Yeah, you talk about it. One, I know you do. One, because just acting in general, what you have to do with your body, what you have to do with your voice. So you have to have some talent in your voice. Of course you do. You have to. Just like you have to have some talent to tap. Yeah. But. It doesn't mean you're a better dancer. If you can do more stuff with, if you're a tap dancer and one tap dancer can do more than the other tap dancer, that tap dancer is better. Yeah, some shapeshifters are better than other shapeshifters. And the shapeshifters are better than the people that can't shapeshift at all. No, G Gene Kelly's not a better dancer than Prabhu just because he taps. And I, Daniel Day-Lewis isn't a better actor than Robin just because he can shapeshift. I would consider Prabhu better than the guy you just said because he can do more. But my comparison dance. is I consider shapeshifting and being yourself to be equally but different skills for actors. That not all of them can do them. That doesn't make any sense. Danny Day-Lewis can do way more than Tom Hanks. So, ixo facto. Way more in what way? Acting! In terms of being a character. He can do more characters. How would that not make you better? That doesn't make any sense. What's the... what? We're getting into what is acting. Is acting about being different characters? That's what makes you a good actor? You can be different characters? Oh my god, this is exhausting. It is. Ugh. You're a fucking idiot! Uh, who are you again? Anyways, let us know uh, who you picked in the game, uh, why we're idiots, mm -hmm. why, why you hate us so much now. And if you can remember this guy's name, put it down in the comments. Especially below. if you go into press. Just